All right, if you've got an injury and you've got a, a, a decision to make, are you going to use a walker or are you going to use a cane? Well, Bob. Or crutches. Or crutches. Yeah, that's what I meant to say. Bob and I have done this for, what, 60 years together total? I hate to even say. Yeah. And we'll give you some good advice so that you're safe and you feel comfortable with whatever you decide no to use. No falling. That's right. So hold on. Okay, Bob. Uh, typically, people who are younger, uh, athletic maybe, right. but just mobile in general, and they injure one leg, it's pretty typical they go to crutches. Right. But as we get older, or if someone has an arm problem or weakness or some other problems, then it becomes... Do we use the walker or we do the crutches? So a lot of people want to go to the crutches be right, because it look more modern. It, more modern. Right. Uh, some other advantages of, of the crutches are more mobile. They're right. they're a little easier to stairs. You can go up and down steps much easier, uh, and they're just they're lighter. You can throw right. them in the car easier. Uh, but the problem with the crutches they require more strength mostly in the upper body, more balance and more coordination. Have you ever used them in the past? If you've had an injury, you know, even if it's 10 years ago and you used them, you have that feel. It's kind of like riding a bike, but not quite, you know, not that exact, but Yeah, if you helps. are elderly, in, it's been 20 years, I mean. That's a different story. Yeah, right. so good judgment with that particular factor, but it, it does help if, you, if you've never used them. Right. Yeah. It's so. but say this is the injured leg, and I'll have the person stand on one leg and let go and see if they can balance for at least 15 seconds. Up to 30 seconds is even better yet. How, now, if they're like this and, and they're off and yeah, and this is happening, clearly right. they're you not go with the walker. Yeah, going with the walker. If if you have a walker, you know something. If you just can hold yourself, just just toe touch. Um, sure. But you need to feel confident with this. Crutches, you have to adjust them properly. Uh, when you put them sh feet sh one shoulder width apart, crutches out like where they are here, about 45 degree angles from the toes. When you let your, well, the first thing you do is check that you can get two or three fingers between the pad and your armpit here. Comfortably. Yep. Uh, these are a little tall on me, actually, and they don't go any shorter. Uh, so they, this would be a little bit tall for me. tight? Yeah. I mean, I could use them in a pinch. I wouldn't use sure. them for long periods of time. Because they will pinch. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And then the next one, let your arms hang down and the, the hand, hand, uh, hand the grips. The wrists. <laughs> the hand grips should, should line up with the wrists. 